Hello, this is Cheryl. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you've already been here, welcome back. This is going to be a twist on the neurographic art I posted recently. In this video, I'm going to use some black watercolor cardstock and some white Posca markers. So my first step is to tape my paper down. The washi tape that I'm using is silver, so it's not see-through, so I can't really tell if I'm using even lines, but in the end, I'm gonna use the Posca markers to draw around the perimeter anyways, so it's okay. So as I said, I'm gonna use the Posca markers. They're just a white acrylic paint pen, and I'm gonna use that to do the lines. The first thing you wanna do before using your Posca markers is shake them to make sure that the ink is flowing. When you first get them, you do need to prime them and shake them and pump the tip to make sure that the ink is flowing. But once you have that done, anytime you go to use them, just um, shaking them and then pumping them once is good enough. So the only rule with neurographic art is you wanna start off the page and you wanna end off the page. So you can see I made some squiggly lines. Now I'm gonna use some circle dies to create some circles. You could also use some circle stencils. Now that I have my lines and circles where I want them to be, I'm gonna take a finer tip Posca marker and anywhere two lines are intersecting, I'm gonna round those corners. Now that all the corners are rounded, we need to, or I'm gonna watercolor. Now I'm using some metallic watercolors for this. It looks fabulous on the black watercolor paper. You don't necessarily need to use metallics, but you definitely need to use opaque watercolors. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to see them over top of the black watercolor paper. In this video, I'm going to be using some neutrals. I'm using a platinum there. I'm gonna use some gold, bronze, that sort of thing. At the very end of the video, I'll show you one that I watercolored in color. The color you watercolor doesn't matter. Just have fun with it and enjoy the process. Now, because the metallic watercolors are opaque, I'm trying to carefully not put as much as possible on my white lines. I will have to go over them at the end just to really crisp them up again, but you do wanna be careful to not go over the lines because it will cover them. Having said that, because you're not going over the lines, you can easily paint right beside each other, two different colors, and they shouldn't bleed as long as you have it, don't have those colors touching.
Once my watercolor is done, I'm going to let it completely dry and then I'm going to go back over with the same white Posca pens and crisp up the lines that I have between the colors. Now when you look at my black or my metallic watercoloring, you can see that you can see some of the black watercolor paper through that. I like that and I left it that way. If you don't like that, use less water and more of the paint and create a more opaque look and more solid look. So here's a quick look of how it looks. I'm going to take a ruler and my wide Posca pen and I'm going to create the white around the edges. This here is the completed piece. And then in a second, you'll see how it looks in color. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. Please hit subscribe and the bell notification to be notified of more videos. Have a great day.